Now, here's uh, another uh, short clip and uh, kind of a different uh, picture of uh, horses. Now, I know that uh, a lot of people who are good at riding horses and things like that, and this is a painting that my wife did when uh, she was fairly young, and uh, her love for horses uh, along the way. And uh, they always used to say you could tell what a horse was kind of thinking and what he might do next by the look in his eyes and also by his ears. And uh, very, very smart animals. And uh, here's an example of, uh, of something that, uh, that my wife was very, very interested in when she was growing up. And uh, so she, pa she painted this and uh, she herself had uh, a, a real love for, for horses and uh, it was uh, one day that we were visiting a, a farm uh, up in the Interlake area and uh, she got onto this uh, horse uh, bareback and uh, just took off in a mad rush with the uh, cousin of mine who was on a horse as well and uh, away they went and I thought there they go I'll never see her again and the mad rush that they went off and headed in toward the bush or whatever that's it I'll never, never see them again. So we went to a place or whatever, and there they're coming back on this uh, bush trail. And uh, I realized then that, that my wife could actually ride these horses because she was riding bareback. And, uh, and it was just, just amazing, something that uh, I, I could not do. And actually, at this point in time, I had a, an apprehension and almost like a fear for these giant animals. And, uh, but she seemed to be very, very comfortable uh, on these. Uh, and later, later on, uh, as uh, you know, we, we were together and things like that, I used to kind of coin this uh, phrase or concept of, uh, of my wife and, and riding horses bareback and doing it like I thought maybe I could do one day, but definitely wasn't going to be able to do that. What, uh, what she, she did, what, or what I would say about her, I says, you can actually ride a painted pony bareback, fire the rifle underneath the horse's belly, and hit the target. And what I would do is I would laugh about this and think, hey, this was a great joke. And uh, actually at that point in time, her mother would look at me and she wouldn't smile at all uh, because <laughs> it was almost like she knew something that I didn't know, but I was going to find out one of these days or whatever. And uh, so ultimately, uh, we found out that uh, that my wife, uh, okay, was uh, was matey. Uh, they didn't talk about it in the family too much, and we just celebrated here in Brandon uh, yesterday uh, the Manitoba uh, National uh, or Provincial Celebration for for Métis Days, and it was an incredible celebration. And it was uh, part of the Louis Riel uh, settlement in southern Manitoba, which was set up as a as an official. Uh, part of Manitoba, the very, very beginning of Manitoba, and uh, the Métis Nation. And uh, so right off the get-go, I kind of understood how come she could ride these horses so well, because it was uh, instilled uh, right, right in her blood. And uh, so she knew what she was doing when she was young, painting this uh, picture. And uh, then I, uh, along the way, kind of grew up and realized that there were people that could uh, ride uh, horses way much better than myself and I'd actually had the experience uh, along the way too of being thrown off a horse and that's not a pleasant experience when you hit the ground because uh, you could be seriously injured or stomped or whatever so I kind of drifted away from that dream of actually being myself one to uh, to ride these uh, uh, wild horses uh, and uh, however they partnered up with people and they do they partner up with the the rider that trains them, they get used to the rider, uh, they can signal things uh, that are in the bush, in the, in the trees or whatever, by just watching the movement of their head and their ears. Very, very smart animals, but very, very big and very, very, very powerful. So this will bring uh, an end to this little clip. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll call it uh, My Wife and Wild Horses.